I took this apart because it was just too wobbly and I've made it a lot better and I balanced it. I have a couple blobs of solder over here super glued on that rim and it makes it so it does not settle at one spot and does not pull back. So it's balanced. It's not so wobbly off center anymore. And what else did I do? I put solder, I mean solder, epoxy, coated this with epoxy. And then I coated this with epoxy. Oh yeah, so important. I did a little bit of testing before and this is what seemed to be the best as far as lens breaking goes. And that is, look at the position of this magnet compared to the magnet over here. And I'd say the center of this one, the center of this one, lines up with the edge of this one. And this is when it rotates this direction. It's not right in the middle of the two. Here, now you can see it. Here's the next one. See that? Here's the next one. And so the rotation of the direction is going to matter too. So it goes this way, which is going to be, when you look at the timing disc, which will be here, it will be going counterclockwise when you look at the timing disk. So this video is kind of documenting what I'm doing. So I'll be running it again. I don't know if I can get it back together tonight, but maybe. But if you see that video before this, this was just really bad. a lot better and I balanced it each of these if you did this edge to this edge that's 22 and a half degrees because there's 16 of them so let's see what the space is so I can save see how many degrees this offset is. So these are uh, 20 million 20 20 millimeter magnets. I know that kind of some glue in there and stuff 
and it looks like the space between is 15 millimeters. Let's look at the next one. I'll look at this one. Oh, that was pretty good. Yeah, I'd say about 15 millimeters in between, and the magnets 20 millimeters, and there's 16 magnets. So you can figure the uh, offset degrees from that. I'll do it later, but anyways, and like I was saying, it matters which way it goes, and it's going to be going this direction. Okay. Oh, there, it's pulling back a little bit. See that? That means it's not perfectly balanced. Hmm? Maybe it's not. There, it's coming back now. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, see where it settles now? So that means I'm going to put some weight, some more solder right there on top as a counterweight. So anyways, there is that. And thanks for watching.